All right, so uh, it's me, Dan, or Lucifer, or Missium, or King Freak, or one of 375 billion other names. I don't know why I have so many names. Uh, people close to me know that I've basically completely disappeared off the face of the earth for the last several weeks. <laughs> Uh, I thought I would uh, show you why. Um, just a few things to, just a few heads up, little notices here. Uh, my computer is old and it overheats very easily. Uh, so I have this giant fan blowing on it to try and keep it cool. Uh, so <laughs> it's rather loud and hopefully the microphone doesn't pick it up too much. If it does, my apologies. Um, what else? There was other things. I should probably have planned this out a little bit more. <laughs> um, there was something else I was going to say too, but I don't remember what it is. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just get to, you know, why I've been gone this whole several weeks here. Completely shut out everyone in the world and all of that. Uh, you can already probably tell that it's uh, because of Minecraft. <laughs> um, oh, I know I wanted to uh, also apologize in advance in case my computer starts lagging really bad. Uh, it doesn't run Minecraft very well. Uh, I have to keep it on normal view distance instead of far view distance with view distance which makes uh, which makes you know time in the nether very dangerous since guests like to hang out just out of view. Um, so if I start to lag, because I am running this program called Camtasia, which I'm using to record the screen, and Camtasia is also very intensive on my laptop, so having them both going at the same time, there's a good chance of some lag showing up at some point. So again, uh, my apologies for that. And I guess one final note is that for some reason Camtasia won't record the game if I have it set to full screen, so I have the screen maximized, which is kind of annoying because when it's full screen, every like the, the menus and stuff are bigger, and now I gotta deal with tiny menus, which isn't a big problem, it's not like I can't see everything, but it's just different, different stuff is stupid. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'll just get to the tour then. Um, this is the world that we've been playing in. Uh, I used to play Minecraft constantly back in the day, several months ago. You know, like, when, you know, shortly before, well, a few months before one, it was officially released, back in, like, November or whatever it was. And, uh, we had this map going and everything, but then the map got corrupted, so I stopped playing for quite a while because it just wasn't fun playing by myself. But now my classmate, Yia... Uh, who has a screen name of Ultrons in the game, uh, he started up his own server and a new map, and I just kinda got super addicted again. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've had this plan to build a giant castle since I started playing pretty much out of Obsidian because nothing I do can ever be simple. And so this is like, I, you know, the first thing I wanted to do was build a castle, so that's kinda what I've been doing. Except, you know, obsidian is hard to get, or it takes forever to get, I should say. So it's not going to be done anytime soon. It's kind of just an outline on the ground, which you'll see eventually. Uh, but in the meantime, I set up a spawn point, or not a spawn point, I set up a village in front of my castle that is, you know, like a billion miles away from the spawn point because I needed a flat area. And uh, everyone. Oh, God joined the game. <laughs> God is. Um, the server owner, Yia, he sometimes pops in with this alternate uh, account named God to do, like, you know, God-like things so that he can uh, set certain things up, usually mods and stuff. We have a ton of mods on here, which I'll probably point out as I go. But anyway, as I was saying, I'm a long ways away from the spawn point because I needed flat area to build everything. So I outlined my village thinking, alright, I'll fill this village with medieval houses and stuff, and buildings. Um, my classmates, who are also playing on the server, just kind of started building houses 
uh, while I was outlining the village. And for whatever reason, they decided to make modern houses. And at one point, fairly early on, someone put in a paved road with a dotted line down the center. So the village isn't at all medieval, which is not what I was going for, but oh well, I guess. It's pretty cool. I'm actually in my house right now, but uh, I was actually going to start outside of the village, but I forgot to do that. So, whoops. Uh, anyway, I, I suppose I'll start off by showing you my character. I should probably take off my armor first. I'm a demon, of course. If you know me, then uh, actually I have to remember how to do this. There we go. You can see my back. <laughs> it's a fancy, sexy back, if I, ever, if I do say so myself my front. Yeah. I'm the evilest of the demons. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm way too easily amused. So yeah, that's my character. I'm a ho I'm just a horrible artist, so the skin design's not too amazing, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, I'm in my house on the second floor, and of course it would just have to start getting night right now. Or turning tonight. That was really horrible English. Made the uh, attic up here out of soul sand for some reason. Uh, anyone who's not familiar with Minecraft, which I'm imagining the very few people that watch this will uh, probably not be, uh, soul sand makes you crouch down and walk really slow. So I don't know why I chose to make the attic floor out of soul sand. But uh, yeah, anyone who knows me knows that I love. You know, the evilest and darkest of stuff, so of course I had to make the floors out of nether brick, which only comes from the nether. And if you're not familiar with Minecraft again, um, the nether is the equivalent of hell in this uh, game. Soul sand also comes from the nether. And so does glowstone, which is these uh, blocks that give off light. And then, of course, the walls are made of obsidian because, you know, obsidian is just badass. <laughs> um, obsidian is the most difficult material to get in the game because it takes a really really long time to dig it out and it's also dangerous because you have to pour water on magma and obviously magma is dangerous definitely fallen into it quite a few times um, but we have a ton of mods like I mentioned earlier and one of them is an MMO mod so it allows us to level up various skills and stuff like um, fighting and using the bow and digging and stuff, and one of the, and the, it also gives each of the different things a special ability. So um, when you the the pick special ability is that you can dig like super fast, like even faster than you can already do with efficiency enchantments. So like it's perfect for digging out obsidian because you right click and then that activates it, and then when you dig the, the obsidian gets dug out at this at in like a fraction of a second each block a fraction of a second which is insanely fast since it normally takes like it's like 15 or 20 seconds to dig out a single block or something like that um, but it wears off after like 20 seconds or something so it's still not amazing it's still it's better than you know 20 seconds per block every block but Anyway, here's the bottom floor of my house. I haven't finished putting rooms in. I just did on the bottom floor because I wanted to make a hidden basement. So I did. So these rooms are empty. Um, and I'm already kind of lagging here, which is a bad sign since we've only just begun. Um, here, I'll show you my hidden basement. Take a switch. Put it right here, I do believe. And flip the switch. And look at that a hole in the floor. Isn't that just awesome? Of course I've always got to have my secret rooms and the lag is really bothering me. I wonder if uh, switching over to a short view distance will help. I hope it does. Seems to have helped a little bit. Uh, another mod that we have is that we can lock chests because you know creepers and stuff. So I've got a bunch of locked chests here. Oops, put the sign instead of the chest. As you can see, I got lots of diamonds. Uh, one of the that mod that allows you to level up stuff. When you level up the digging to level 350, uh, diamonds start dropping. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a, a lot of diamonds. In fact, let me check what my level is right now. Yeah, my power level is 12, 
Wait a minute. Something's not right here. I was level 1,400 something earlier. Hmm. Maybe I wasn't. Maybe I'm just crazy. Uh, anyway, you can see all of the uh, different things you can level up here. There's not a whole lot of stuff, but my excavation, which is digging with a shovel, is 415, which is definitely the highest because I specifically wanted to get diamonds. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Got lots of furnaces in case I need to cook up lots of stuff. Um, so that's pretty much all there is in my house right now. Um, I don't know if I really want to go out and give a tour while it's nighttime, since there'll be monsters everywhere, and I'll be more distracted by fighting monsters than showing off the buildings, but, uh... Another thing that we you, uh, with this locks allows us to do is that we can lock the doors, so... I have this door set to everyone though, so uh, by by locking it and allowing everyone to access it, you can just right click to open doors now, or right click to open steel doors, which you normally can't do unless you give it an electrical charge. Oh, I wonder if you'll be able to hear this. I have doorbells. Oh yeah, it's way too quiet, you'll never hear that. But I do have a doorbell. Doesn't seem to be functioning correctly though. For some reason, both notes are playing at the same time. Oh, there it went. Uh, so yeah, got a mailbox, which is another mod we've got, where if we want to, we can send items by typing um, m send username, whatever the person's name is, and then um, hitting enter, and that will send whatever item we're holding. You have to be careful though, because I've definitely accidentally sent my sword to people in the past. Oh, I got signs too. I'm kind of a big fan of signs. I put signs up everywhere. And then for whatever reason, I chose to quote some Cthulhu. Uh, my castle's over here. I'll get to that later. I'm starting to lag again already, which is not cool. So here we got a. We got two different kinds of shops here. And uh, we got NPCs. I went and got a bunch of NPCs to employ at all these places. So we can sell stuff here. And for coins, we have coins. In fact, I have 1,015 coins. You get coins by either selling items or fighting monsters. So that's cool. Uh, I'll probably get rich off of selling diamonds since they drop from dirt. <laughs> Uh, so that's the cell shop. Gotta be careful there are no creepers around. I'm actually kind of surprised I'm not seeing any monsters. The, we normally have quite a monster problem in this village. By the way, we uh, we kind of named it... Uh, I've kind of named it Obsidian Village because my castle will be made out of obsidian. Um, there's actually a... What is that noise about? Okay, then. Um... I have, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Well, anyway, this is a buy shop. You can buy stuff. And you can also put stuff up for sale, so I'm selling a whole bunch of arrows because I have an infinity bow, so I can shoot infinite arrows with just one arrow. So I had like a thousand something arrows. In fact, yeah, there's 1,442 arrows here for sale because I just don't uh, need them. Wait, what? Am I seriously selling these for 30 coins a piece? I should probably lower that price. Oh well. You can buy lots of different stuff, including... There's a spider somewhere, damn it. Um, you can buy a lot of stuff, particularly the things that are most interesting are the things that you can't normally get very easily or at all. Oh my goodness, this is annoying. I bet... Actually, I'm gonna go outside quick, because... I don't think I showed you guys the shop sign that Yia made. There's a creeper over there, of course. The, um... The sign is powered by a minecart. And monsters constantly get stuck in it, and it looks like the sign's going backwards again. Damn it. You can see on the bottom of the screen there, I got five coins for killing a creeper. Um... So, I'm assuming that there's a spider in the minecart right now, since I hear it. Oh, fuck! That's not good. Yeah, that's a creeper, and I need to be very careful so that it does not blow up the track. 
Oh, the lag's gonna make this difficult. Stop lagging! Didn't kill it that time. Damn it. Timing this is difficult. <laughs> ah. Oh. This is a wonderful use of video time. There we go. Got you, bitch. Yeah, so this is the inner workings, and why did the cart stop? Well, I gotta push it in the other direction anyway, I guess. Go! Why is it not going? Did I break it? What the hell? Go! I'm a, I, I bet I'm getting disconnected. Okay, the experience orbs are really annoying. There we go. Stupid minecart. There we go. Now the sign will be going in the right direction. Or it'll stop for some reason. Well, I'm not really sure what's going on right now. Um, must be really bad lag or something. I don't know. It's weird. So I leave. Oh, well, that explains it. There it goes. Um, yeah. I was collecting all of the records that they, they play music when you put them in a music box. But there's this one that's like broken, as you can see, that you can't get in the game without cheating. So, since it's one of the things you can't get, you put it in the shop. But because he knows that I play constantly, <laughs> and uh, I like to kind of grind and level up and get tons of money and stuff, he knew that I would just get it right away. In fact, it lo looks like he didn't update the sign. Uh, originally, he put it up for 10,000, but when he put the diamonds in here, and diamonds sell for 200, and knowing that I'm the richest person in the game, I've got a billion diamonds, uh, he raised the price to 100,000 coins. Oh, he must have dropped it back to 10,000. It used to be 100,000. Maybe he's giving me a break, because he knows I'll eventually get there. Uh, yeah, lots of interesting items. Um, this sign isn't going to make sense right now, but for the last time, no, I have no relation to Bob. Bob is an NPC from the town hall. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, this is Pete. Named him Pete. Um, I also added a special sign behind the counter. It's kind of hard to read, but it says, Help, I've been kidnapped. I'm being held against my will. <laughs> Because one of the mods we have allows us to throw eggs. If we're holding, um, if we're holding redstone dust in our inventory, we can throw eggs at mobs like monsters, animals, NPCs, and it'll catch them in the egg. If you've played in creative mode, you can you you've seen that there are eggs that uh, you toss and they spawn whatever creatures inside. And uh, so this mod min uh, uses that to uh, capture mobs. I actually use it to catch all my cats because they, some kind of bug is happening that they keep following me when I tell them to sit. Or they don't they don't follow me when I tell them to sit. I tell them to sit and then I go and like I'm digging I'm crawling around in some cavern somewhere deep underground and then all of a sudden my cats appear next to me for some stupid reason. So I got mad and caught them all in eggs and put them in a chest until whatever bug that is gets fixed. It's probably a bug with the mo with one of the mods or something, but uh Anyway, I went and found a village and caught a bunch of NPCs so we could have uh, employees in our uh, buildings. Also got nice street lamps that I made. So I suppose I never pointed out who made all this stuff. Uh, the shop was made by both of us, by both, or I should, <laughs> I should specify who both of us is, by Yia and I. Uh, most of these buildings were made by Yia and I. 
Um, I think the cell shop was made entirely by Yia. The sign was made by Yia. Um, obviously my house, which is over there, was made by me. Um, this is the blacksmith, which I made back before the town went all modern. <laughs> I made this one, this building. I feel like those should both open. Um, this is Brutus. He likes to do aerobics. Except right now he seems to be taking a break. Maybe that's the lag. He constantly jumps up and down on that uh, crafting table back there for some reason. I don't think he likes this job. Um, that's not a good sign. Like, world corruption errors? I certainly hope not. Um, anyway, another mod we have is this anvil mod that allows us to repair items by right-clicking a block of iron while holding whatever item you're trying to repair. And in fact, I kind of really need to repair my armor. Um, another benefit with this mod is that it doesn't remove the enchantment. And enchantments are very, very ridiculously expensive. Um, that's interesting. Um, uh, we also have a mod that, well, actually, I don't know if it really counts as a mod, Yia uh, multiplied experience points by 20, because at the rate you normally get them, uh, you, you just don't level up for crap, and it just isn't worth, it just, um, enchanting just isn't feasible without the mods, you, like, with, with, by multiplying experience points by 20, you can um, just kill monsters constantly for a whole night in Minecraft, which is 10 minutes, and then and you'll have enough to um, enchant an item. And uh, even then, you still end up with enchantments that you're not looking for. Enchanting still sucks, but uh, it's a lot better than you know uh, having to play for a year before you can finally enchant something. Uh, so anyway, you don't want to lose your enchantments, so we can repair them now without losing the enchantment. Another mod we have is that diamond tools are unbreakable and bows are unbreakable. So, you know, that's useful. Um, anyway, let's get out of here. Blacksmith isn't really that interesting anyway. Uh, one of the guys that we play with, uh, Miles, uh, he used to play a, a lot and lately he hasn't really been on. Um, I kept telling him to come and make a house in the village and he made this. <laughs> so I put this sign on there that this is the biggest mansion he could afford. I haven't really seen him around though for some reason. I don't know why. Um, this is the hotel that he is working on. He... Oh, his lag is annoying. Uh, damn it. He uh, put in a mod, an elevator mod, which personally I don't know if I'm a big fan of the elevator mod. I haven't used it, and I probably never will. Uh, I'd much rather have a piston elevator, personally. I like working with redstone and stuff. Actually, I don't think we're hiring anymore. We got an NPC. You should probably name this guy. Doesn't look like he did. Anyway, this, uh, I don't really completely understand how this mod works. I guess if you put, um, glass above you and gold blocks below you, and then a button that must make the elevator work, I guess. I don't really... It's really weird. Wait, why did it go back down? It's supposed to go up. That's weird. Your elevator doesn't seem to go to the top anymore. And yay, lag, that's precisely what I need while I'm recording a video. Uh, anyway, there's not really much to see here anyway, because he's a long way from finishing this hotel. we got a road that leads out of here that, you know, goes to who knows where. It just kind of ends, so it's not really that special. And I put gates up here. Originally, I didn't have gates here, because it looked nicer not having them. But 
I unleashed a bunch of golems into the town, which you can see one lumbering by over there, to help protect the village. I call them the uh, GPF, the Golem Police Force. They're pretty strong at and uh, do a lot of damage, so they kill monsters on sight. Except for creepers, they don't mess with creepers. I'm over here, I got a food shop that I made because... Alright, I guess all the foods disappeared for no apparent reason. I'm gonna chalk it up to the lag thing, but uh... I've got a giant underground wheat field that's automatic, so... I have a ton of bread, and I've got a bunch of watermelon, and I constantly harvest the watermelon even though I don't need watermelon, so I've got a ton of watermelon. In fact, <laughs> I got 4,479 watermelon for sale, not counting what I've got on me. <laughs> I don't think I don't think anyone's bought any though, because everyone's kind of got their own um, fields. There's his normal account, Ultrons. Um, so anyway, I guess that's why people don't uh, buy my food. But uh, anyway, over here we've got the well that I made. It's really interesting. I'm telling you, it's you know a hole in the ground of the water. Uh, I'm not really sure why he's saying hello now, since he was just here as God. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, we got this uh, nether portal room that I made. Uh, I'm not going to go in there right now. The nether lags really bad for some reason that I don't really understand, so I'm not sure if I will go in there. Something really to see anyway, the nether fortress that we have is a long ways away, so the only real reason to even go there would be to, sh would be to show you just how far away it is. Uh, we can't f seem to find one anywhere else in the nether, but uh, anyway, this is Tom's house, one of my other classmates. He was the first one to build a house here. I got a message from God that he gave us special treats into the world. <laughs> he uh, seems to be uh, role-playing a little here since he is the God guy. Um, what kind of treats? And then I spelled treats wrong. I didn't need to put a question mark there. Looks like it's getting dark. And now that I have the view distance on short, I'm in a lot more danger. Anyway, if you're wondering why there's snow all over here, it's because I made a bunch of snow golems. Anyway, I made a bunch of snow golems and put them in his house just to be a dick, I guess. They don't hurt anything, so they just put snow everywhere. <laughs> he killed them all, though. I had three of them in his house, one on his balcony and one down here. What island? Well, I guess technically this area is an island. Just a really big one. That's Yia's house. I'll get there eventually. This is Max's house, another of my classmates. Looks like he harvested all of his crops and left it uh, open. Um, Max was the second person to make a house here. I don't know why I didn't really... give... I don't know why I didn't give a tour of Tom's house. I guess there's probably nothing really interesting there. I feel like the island's smaller than I remember. Uh, Max has a... Uh basement that goes down to the very lowest of the world, and it's got a bunch of rooms down there. He took the time to pave, to, I don't know if pave is the right word, but to quote-unquote pave the walls, floor, and ceiling in stone brick down there for some reason that I don't really know why. Uh, I also helped him set up a, um, a uh, automatic wheat farm down there. 
and I think I also helped him with a automatic uh, sugarcane farm. Check out Yi's house. Well, maybe I'll check out uh, the community chest which I made. This was one of the, another of the first buildings over here. Obviously, I tried to make it look like a chest. I don't know if it's really very good, but <laughs> contemplating. Oops, what? Uh, anyway, this was supposed to be a place to, for like uh, everyone to kind of share items and stuff, put items in the chests. You know, like, uh, you know, you need wood or something, you come here and grab some. Um, I really don't know why this door is here. Uh, another thing that Tom did was he built that train station over there that I'll get to eventually. Uh, there's a subway system directly below that, so I don't know why we need a train system. And he kind of built it across the wall for some reason. And I'm assuming this is his quick way back in. Hopefully there isn't a creeper right here somewhere. Um, I'll get to that eventually, but I guess I just don't really know why he put this here. Um, anyway, let's check out Yi's house here. Yi built this house, obviously. He was one of the first people here as well. One of the first houses. I had a bunch of extra leaves though, so I made bushes for him. Um, this lag is lovely. I always watching his TV. <laughs> he still hasn't eaten all of his cake. I gave everyone a housewarming uh, cake when we first met, built all of our houses. A cupboard, refrigerator, counters, and a stove. This table made out of pistons. Uh, we got bedrooms up here. Back before I had a house, I, uh, slept in this room quite a bit to make the night go by so I wouldn't have to deal with monsters while I was building a house. He's got a bathroom. He always makes a bathroom. He's got a shout. Oh, that yeah. He left the water on. He's, he's going to have such a high electrical or a water bill. He's got a toilet. And he left the seat up. Jesus, yeah. You can't just leave the toilet seat up like that. Clearly, he must not have a girlfriend. <laughs> you know, another bedroom. It's okay, yeah. I... I put your toilet seat down. Got a weird balcony. I don't know why he used colored uh, dyed wool up there for that, but uh, he did. Anyway, that's Yia's house. You'll notice that I keep readying my fist. That that's just the special ability for uh, when you right click. If I like miss something when I right click, uh, it triggers the special ability. But as long as I don't use it, it doesn't actually use the special ability. So yeah. And there's not really anything in Tom's house, but I guess since I visited everyone else's house, might as well check it out. Oh, this lag. I wonder if he... Oh, cool, he did finish his basement thing. Whoa, what's this? Last time I was here, he, this hole didn't go anywhere. Why does he have a bunch of stone picks? It makes a diamond pick, it's permanent. It doesn't break. Glass. I bet this leads to his subway tunnel, which goes on forever. He's even farther away from this... He's farther away from this village than I am from the spawn point, which is pretty insane, considering how far away from the spawn point I am. Interesting. A dead-end tunnel. Tom is a strange one. Probably shouldn't be taking video time out to, like, see what's here, but... Oh, well. And another... Oh, no, it does go down further. Oh, this leads to Max's basement. See, Max paved all of this. If that's, that's not really the right word, but the covered the walls and everything with a stone brick. Stone brick isn't really the cheapest thing in the world, so... And this is just a big obsidian bed. This is where he's digging out his obsidian. I got some from there, but I found a 
another place that probably attaches to this eventually that's full of um, obsidian that I'm getting my obsidian from. So much brick. All these chests are empty. Then again, most of my chests in my basement are empty too, so... A bunch of redstone. Dust. Here's this wheat plant that I helped him make. This is very small. Not sure why he made such a small one. I guess you don't need a big one. I definitely get more wheat than I need out of mine, so... Yeah, this is only three levels. Mine's 13 levels, and it's double wide. It's twice as wide. Double wide. What the hell is that? <laughs> I can speak good. I as good speakers of English is. Never really understood the point of making your floor out of crafting tables. You only need one crafting table. But having lots of furnaces is always helpful. Lava pit ahead. That's so lava pit. Looks more like a wall to me. Hmm. Interesting. I don't remember this being here. Oh yeah. Clearly I do remember it being here. It's automatic sugarcane plant. I don't really know why you need a sugarcane farm, because... Uh oh. There's an enderman dying somewhere. What the hell is going on? An enderman must have teleported into some water somewhere. I don't know why he didn't teleport away. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I don't know why you need a sugarcane farm, since sugarcane is practically useless. You only need it to make books, which you only need to make bookshelves, which you only need for an enchanting table, and we've already got enchanting tables. Or you can use it to make um, a map, but you don't need very much to make a map, so you don't really need much sugarcane. And you use it for sugar to make cakes and cookies, but it's such a hassle to make those that it's better to just stick with, like, uh, watermelon and bread and stuff, so I don't really know why you need a bunch of sugar cane, but whatever. I don't personally have a sugar cane plant, or farm, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, more chests. Might as well come up through Max's basement. Still never really explored Tom's house. Oh well. Probably could move on now anyway. Taken quite a lot of time showing off very, very little. But that's the way I am, I guess. I talk and talk. And take forever to do the simplest of things. Oh, lag. No one likes you, lag. Yeah, I, I dropped a bunch of snow golems in here, too. <laughs> Such a dick. I'm su I'm pretty sure this is a um, like a portcullis sort of thing that, that he got a, uh, hit the idea for from me. The switch for it is there, but I'm afraid to pull it because last time I saw it didn't really work right and I don't want to break anything. But he hasn't been raising it, so I don't really know why he bothered to have it. Anyway, let's go this way. What the hell is this? I'm not really sure why there's fence here. Evidently someone's planning to extend the graveyard. The cemetery, even though we still have four slots left. Um, I made the cemetery here. So of course I had to put myself in here. I was going to put something a lot wittier, but... Oh well. This one was done by Yia, I think. Um, this one was done by Max, obviously. He plays Skyrim, so I guess that's why he did that. And then Steven here. I made this one. Steven was a snow golem that was working at the uh, shop. And Tom thought he could talk to him by left-clicking. And left-clicking is how you attack. So he accidentally killed Steven, the snow golem. I named him Steven, by the way. I thought he looked like Steven. <laughs> so I had to make a... Uh, really nice headstone for him. I wanted to say a lot more, like a full-on eulogy, but they don't really give you much to much space to put text on uh, signs, so... Yeah. This extra fence over here is really kind of confusing me, though. 
Um, I should probably cover the town hall, but... Um, yeah, I should go cover the town hall since it's one of the first buildings that was put in here. Got nice fancy lighting. You put in a fancy walkway. And now we'll be able to meet Bob here at the town hall. Oh no! Where's Bob? Did he escape? Did someone kill him? Damn it. I had a nice funny sign here asking me about my nose. Bob! What the hell are you doing over there? How the hell did Bob get out? What? I'm confused. What are you doing, Bob? Not really. It's gonna suck getting him back in there. But I'll save that for another time. Because this video is already long and I haven't even really done anything yet. Um. Yeah, so. Damn it. Stupid lag. Uh, so that's Town Hall. Rather interesting. It was built by Yia. Um, here we got the library, which is built by me. Wanted a place to have a community enchanting table. Uh, Yia named him Professor Kassenhoff. I'm not really sure what that name is supposed to be from. Got a nice enchanting table here. We have a mod to make enchanting easier, where basically you type in what you want to enchant and how much you want to spend on it to like get the exact enchantment you want but he's got this like limit here that you can see here where with armor you can only have two enchantments on it and I need more I want more than that on my enchantments you can also multiple you can also enchant your items multiple times but since you can't put more than two on stuff more than three on tools it's useless for me because like I said I want more enchantments than just two or three um, so I'm not really sure why you really bothered to do that, but uh, anyway, that's the enchantment table. Nothing really interesting in the library. Then we've got my pet shop. And I doubt anyone's bought one. Nope. Nobody's bought a pet. Got a skeleton here for 20 coins. I don't know why anyone would want one. Got ocelots. Ocelots are really, really hard to tame. Um, but I, have, I caught a bunch of them, so thought I'd sell them. They're expensive though, because once you get an once you get two ocelots, you can just breed them, and then you don't need to buy them anymore. So I figured, gotta get my money's worth. Got a pig over here, and a sheep, a couple of zombies, some giant spiders, a bunch of wolves. Um, uh, I think Emma will <laughs> appreciate who this NPC is named after. I uh, got ocelots for 666 coins, because <laughs> I don't know, I just. Felt it was obligatory to put 666 somewhere, right? Uh, ocelots are expensive because they're really hard to tame. Wolves are much easier to tame, but you can breed them, I think. So figured I'd make them expensive too. I've also got information on how to tame both wolves and ocelots because you can't put cats and dogs up here because cats and dogs will only they will only respond to the person that tamed them. So if I tamed them and then caught them, they wouldn't, and then someone bought it, they wouldn't be able to control the pet. So I had to catch the wild version, so i got to teach people how to tame them, since not everyone who plays is um, an expert at the game. They're, they're relatively new. Well, they were, Tom and Max were played as, in creative mode all the time, so they don't really know stuff. <laughs> uh... I forgot to cover the bulletin board at Town Hall, I guess, but, um... Here we got, uh... I, don't, I wonder if Tom named him. Nope, Tom didn't name him. Uh, I got the train station here. Um, this is the path to the subway station. I suppose I'll ride that for you guys to see how crazy that is, how long it is. Uh, let's see... Seems a creeper blew up part of his track here currently working on this. He said he's making a track that leads to the beach for some reason. Or something at the beach. I don't know really why he's doing that, but he is. Um, also got this clock tower for some reason. Oh, this lag is making everything difficult. Damn it. Damn it. 
not really sure what this is for. Oh, there's my old house too, by the way. Before all the village and everything was here, I needed a place to live, so that's my old house. Currently in the process of moving all my items over, and then I'll demolish that. But uh, for now, it's still there, I guess. This room is even more of a mystery to me. It's really small, like, really short. I don't know what he's got this there for, but he does. And then go all the way to the top, this crazy spiral staircase, which I had one of those before. Not really sure why this one doesn't have glowstone all the way around like the other sides do, but... Yeah. Anyway, so that's the clock tower, I guess. Doesn't tell time, so I guess it's not really a clock tower, but... I don't know what else you'd call it. Um, there used to be a door leading into the room here, but NPCs are capable of opening doors, so we had to close that off. Uh, should I go in here yet? I should probably avoid that for right now. Cover that later. Um, I guess I have to go around since I put the drawbridge down so that the go golems wouldn't escape. Which is why these gates are there. You know, so the golems don't escape. And I started, fill I started to fill up the moat with magma, but it's really hard to get that much magma, so definitely isn't done yet. This house is made by Yia's 10-year-old sister. I don't know why she built it, uh, but back before the village was here, uh, she just popped in one day and for some reason started following me around and followed me all the way out here, a long way away from where the spawn point is and where everyone else's houses were at the time. And then she built this house right in the path of where my castle was originally supposed to be. Because it was supposed to be way over here. So I had to move it out. And so I marked off my castle boundaries. And then she built this this uh, wheat farm across the line of where my castle boundaries were. So I had to move her farm out, her wheat plant to the other side. And uh, then she kind of disappeared and I haven't seen her in a really long time. I guess she gets... a she gets scared of monsters in the game and the sounds that the scary sounds that are made in the caverns underground which is kind of weird because they're really not that scary and then I got endermen screwing up my moat edges so anyway like I said this castle is just an outline right now and as you can see I started out in cobblestone because I didn't want you sister to mess around in my area anymore I didn't want to have to move any more stuff Ideally, I would like to tear down her house and rebuild it in the village because it kind of doesn't make sense for there to be a house outside of the village, but for now, I guess I'll just leave it. And of course, it's getting dark, so I'm going to have to fight my way through all of this stuff. And I've got narrow, or very short view distance on, so it's hard to see very far. I'm going to try not to get all my stuff blown up by creepers. Um, but I suppose I can check out the fountain over here. Damn it, why are there always so many creepers? Stay away from my fountain. And my rose garden. Stay still. I'm a bad shot. Wait, what? He did what? Oh, yeah, bomb. Oh, crap getting attacked by a lot of skeletons. Oh, the lag is going to get me killed. So, did I even, uh, yeah. I think he already knows, but... Looks like he's found him, so... Yeah, more creepers. Here's my nice fountain and rose garden, so that's cool. Another mod that you put in is that creepers drop TNT, which is nice. Instead of just always dropping um, gunpowder, which is used to make TNT. So I have lots of TNT since I don't ever use it. <sighs> oh, crap! Stay away. I've had enough of these creepers blowing up my... Uh, Stuff.
Now I get to fight some zombies and giant spiders. Hopefully this doesn't scare Emma. I know she doesn't like spiders, but these ones are made out of blocks, so they're kind of not scary at all. Um, damn it. These lines mark where I'm hoping to put portcullises, except uh, they take a lot of space for the wiring, so I don't know if there's enough space here to do it, or to have to. But uh, I read in a book one time that they would put two portcullises at the gates of the castle so that they could trap their enemies inside, and then they had murder holes, which were holes in the floor above that they would pour, like, boiling oil through, or shoot arrows down through. So I was going to do that, and then I could, like, drop magma down on my enemies. Not that there will be any enemies, but, you know, just for some kind of sort of almost realism, I guess. But, uh, again, the wiring takes up a ton of space, and I don't know if there's going to be enough room for it. Uh, anyway, as you can see, I started to swap out the cobblestone for obsidian up here. And then I got my uh, demon bunny logo sort of thing there. The much bigger versions on top of my house, as you probably saw earlier. Um, this is where all the controls are, though. Uh, well, first I'll go and show you that. Uh, here's my moat. So I come over here, and uh, we've got the portcullis buttons. So first I'll well, actually, I guess it was already raised. <laughs> so I'll lower the gate. There's lag on the sound. So yeah, that's my portcullis. It works and everything. There's one hell of a headache to set up. Why did I call this a portcullis switch? Damn it. This is... Bridge, switch, and I don't remember what direction it has to be. Switch down, I think, to raise bridge. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get my book. Uh, yeah, bitch. Take that. Not that it could blow up my uh, walls anyway. So, anyway, I had to uh, drop the drawbridge so that the golems wouldn't escape. But yeah, it functions. Nice drawbridge. Oh! Shit, I meant to say. Almost killed you. <laughs> lag, I'm definitely going to get killed at some point. Damn it. The last thing I need is to get shot into the magma. Oh, I'm going to have to go all the way around. And of course, there's got to be 100,000 monsters between me and the exit. Or the way through. Run. Don't want to fight right now. I think I covered all of the buildings in the village, so I guess I might as well show you the stuff in my old house. I used to have cats all around my house to keep the creepers away, but like I said, they kept following me, so I had to remove them. Made a message board for myself, but no one ever left me messages. Got my old house here. Damn it. Here's all my watermelon that I constantly harvest even though I don't need it. And with my pick that has fortune enchantment on it, I get lots of watermelon, which makes it even more of an abundance of food I don't need. But I can't help it. It's there. I can't just... I guess I have OCD or something. I can't just leave it there if it's grown. So here's my old house. I've already removed some of the chests that are empty, but... I already removed the food, I guess. 
my old bed, my music uh, player that you can't hear because I have music turned off. Uh, I bet I still have all my redstone here, and wood, and uh, a lot of buckets because I needed magma to make obsidian, but that just sucked, so I stopped doing that. Here's all my cats that keep following me, and all my music discs so far. I think there, there's 11 of them total, and I've got 8, I think, 7 or 8 of them. Yeah, nothing really too interesting here. And I think I already removed everything on the second and third floor. There used to be tons of uh, furnaces in here for cooking stuff up. Oh, I guess I didn't remove the bookshelves. This used to be my enchanting room, and then I had a brewing stand back here that I've already removed don't need this sign anymore either since I removed the brewing stand. And then this leads up to the roof, which I guess I haven't been up here since he put this clock tower here. Uh, anyway, here's the larger version of my Demon Bunny logo thing that I was thinking about putting on the front of my castle walls. There's my Sue's house, he is sister, <laughs> before I put this video up on the internet. Um, and then just because I can, I'm going to just jump off the roof, but I'm going to do it in the front so I don't have to run very far. Because you level up, you can level up your um, acrobatics it's called, which is just falling too far and injuring yourself, so I have a tendency to jump off of stuff, uh, even though I don't need to, just to level it up got a large storage room here, which is what I was mentioning earlier when I said that I've got a ton of chests that are empty. <laughs> Almost every one of these chests is empty. I was anticipating uh, having a ton of cobblestone and dirt for my castle project, but it just kind of, I haven't gotten around to it, I guess, so. Here's a portal to the nether. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to bother going to the nether. Uh, this passage leads up to the um, train station that I don't understand why it exists. This is my subway station, I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, then I'll come down here to the garden, my automatic wheat garden. And as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger than Max's was. What the hell, why is there a block missing over there? What the hell, why is something's been crawling around in my wheat field and messing up my wheat? I kind of stopped harvesting it because I just don't need all this bread. Um, at one point, uh, Tom was building his subway tunnel, and he decided to just, like, dig through my wheat garden. And so he dug through this, and then I couldn't get up here to tend to my crops. So I had to, like, reroute his path a little bit, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why he chose to do that, but he did. So yeah, I have lots of wheat can already probably, oh, well, I guess you probably can't hear the sounds of my animals. I'm actually just kind of letting my animals escape right now because it's just so, so annoying having to deal with my animals constantly escaping. As you can see, I've only got one chicken left even. Stay. I hear a lot of monsters around somewhere. Yep, there's another sheep that escaped. Which is rather annoying. Uh, looks like, uh, oh, cool, my cows are still here. I had a lot more cows and a lot more uh, pigs, a lot more chickens and a lot more sheep. But they keep escaping, and rather than trying to get them back, I just kill them when they escape. Good, the last two pigs haven't escaped yet. I had a ton of sheep of every color of the rainbow, but most of them is, have escaped, and I've had to kill them. And a lot of them escaped and disappeared. Like, I didn't have to kill them, they just disappeared. I don't know where they went. What the hell do you think you're doing? No, you're not... You're not going to go through the door. I will kill you. Do you even understand that if you escape, I kill you? Like, would you rather be alive and in captivity or escaped and dead? Seriously, animals. You're not very wise. Anyway, so yeah, this is my animal place. Like I said, I'm kind of just letting them all die because it's so annoying having to deal with them constantly escaping. That's a bug that Notch definitely, well, Jeb, I guess, now is the lead programmer. Jeb needs to fix. 
like ASAP. So here's my subway station. I call it Missium Station. Um, Tom added his track to the back. I used to this used to not go that way, but use the mailbox uh, mod to allow people to send their carts back if they take them because people keep taking them and not bringing them back. Looks like someone actually gave me a whole bunch of extra ones, but uh, which is not a bad thing. Um, I'm kind of debating whether or not to go to Tom's uh, other station because it's a really long ways away, but I guess I can. So I'll put it over here, up in the cart. Let's go to Tom's island house. And this is the part that was went right through my wheat garden, which is rather annoying. And I guess now I just sit back and uh, wait for like four hours for this to reach the end. Sorry for how boring this is going to be, but he did do a nice job of putting up glass every time he went through like a cavern, so that's kind of interesting. Except I'm in a cart that's moving pretty fast, so won't really be able to see it. Though there's a pretty, uh, pretty interesting spot where he kind of took my idea and built a tunnel of glass through the water at the bottom of the ocean. I actually have plans to make a house underwater eventually, but I'm just too busy with other stuff. Okay. We have a long way to go before we get to the end. I don't know where that path goes. Actually, I think I went up there and it just kind of went into a random jungle for no apparent reason. And there was nothing there except a jungle. Oh yeah, here's the part that goes underwater outside of the squid floating around. I guess there aren't really that many squid out there. Don't even see any squid. I saw one earlier, but oh well. The first time I went down this track, the only time I've been down this track before, I actually forgot to bring a cart and I was running the whole way because I didn't expect it to be this long of a track. So that took forever. goes a lot faster when you're in a cart, but still takes forever. The worst part is there's not even really anything that interesting at the end, so I don't know why I'm wasting time doing this, but whatever. Hmm. Hehehehe. <laughs> I've never really played with this feature that allows me to see myself. <laughs> I'm amused. There he took my idea and put glass where there is magma, as you'll see later. When I go back. And I thought my track was long. It took me, I dug my tunnel for my subway for nine hours straight. And then Yia came along and helped me dig the rest of it for a few more hours. <laughs> Though my track is in a tunnel that's three blocks wide, this is only two blocks wide, so... I don't know. It might have taken me longer to build, to dig mine, even though this track is longer. Ah, <sighs> starting to really think about turning around, because this is getting annoying. And this can't be very interesting to watch. I thought they could only destroy doors on, like, the hardest setting, and we were, like, on the second hardest setting. I think we're almost at the end, though. Yeah, they definitely make a lot of noise. The sound of a zombie at pounding on a door, it's like... It's like someone's got a jackhammer against the door. It's so loud and annoying. Okay, maybe the track isn't almost done. 
God damn. I guess I underestimated how long this track was. My apologies. <laughs> Too bad I can't put far view distance on. Here we go. Here's the end. All right. And I'm lagging. That's beautiful. If I remember correctly, this path doesn't really go anywhere if you go down. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm starting to lag really bad. If you go up, and I don't really know why this is an incomplete. ladder on the other side, but whatever. Okay. Above ground. I actually made this tree thing here, I guess. I don't know why I did. I just felt like it. I guess he didn't notice or didn't care. And I put this sign here. I like to spell stuff wrong, just for fun. So that's Dan, not DNA. That was intentional, by the way. And, uh, so yeah, this is weird house in the middle of nowhere. And I don't know why this is so difficult. Looks like he's got his own automatic wheat farm going up here. Interesting little island he's got. I think he's got a dock down here, too, yeah. Anyway, now we have the horrible uh, pleasure <laughs> of uh, taking this goddamn track all the way back. Uh, quality video time. I really probably should not have taken this track out here. Oops, this is where we gotta get off. Alright, and off we go! Um. Off we go, or not, Just up higher I guess, off we go, there we go, well I guess I can take this time to just waste time, there's me sitting, what the hell, I got legs coming out of my legs, that's weird, <laughs> Not really sure. <laughs> That's kind of odd. Anyway, I got my enchanted items here. I got sharpness 4 and fire aspect, which makes my sword do more damage and light stuff on fire when I hit it. Got my infinity bow, with, which gives me infinite arrows, as I mentioned earlier. Punch 2, which makes it's basically knockback. It knocks my enemies back when I hit them with an arrow. And power 5, which makes my um, arrows do more damage. Got a pickaxe here with unbreaking three, which is useless because our diamond tools don't break. Fortune three, which gives me more items than normal when I pick when I dig through stuff, and efficiency five, which makes digging really really fast. And I got a, sho a shovel here that's got unbreaking as well, which is useless, and efficiency four. I need to get one that has loot or not looting. Um, fortune and. Well, I guess I don't really need one with Silk Touch. I've already got a pick with Silk Touch. Uh, Silk Touch Silk Touch allows you to pick up, allows you to get the original block. There are several blocks that if you dig them out, they give you something different. And Silk Touch allows you to get the original block, which you normally can't get. Uh, I just got a regular axe. I haven't enchanted it. Um, I was kind of hoping that this would all take longer to go through and like fill up more of this really long track ride, but oh well. Got projectile protection on my helm, which is kind of not that interesting. It's rather interesting that my character's legs stick out through his armor pants, but whatever. In 
In fact, I think I'm going to I'm take a screenshot of this. It's a good angle. <laughs> so weird. I've never seen it do that before. I hope this video hasn't been a complete waste of your time, though I'm sure it has been, since you probably don't care at all. Like not even a little bit. And this video is really long. I mean, I'll have to cut it up even to get it onto YouTube. Oh well. Still a long way to go. Think. Or are we already back? No, we're not back yet. Damn it. I can show you my awesome game I'm working on, my RPG for. Uh, this is probably also making my computer lag that I have this open. Um, I'm making an RPG for my Flash class. Look at it, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> I actually do have a little bit done, but not like functional or like. It's all placeholder stuff, but. Yeah. This is what I'm supposed to be working on right now. Instead of, you know, doing this Minecraft tour. <sighs> Everyone else in my class is doing really simple games, like... Yi is doing Bejeweled, basically. Like a modified Bejeweled. Like he's got a tutorial code that he found, and he's modifying it to make it a unique game. Um, like one other person's doing like a Space Invaders kind of game, you know, all simple stuff. And then I come along and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do an RPG because, you know, I want to do... RPGs, if you don't know, um, of all game genres, they take the longest to make. <laughs> uh, then uh, platformer games, like if you think Mario, like the original Mario, jumping on platforms and stuff. Platformer games are the hardest to code, and last quarter I made a, I chose to make a platformer game, so this quarter I chose to make the longest game that you can possibly make, while everyone else is doing the simplest possible things using tutorials. Most of my classmates are probably just going to uh, take the tutorial code and just change the graphics. Well, if you hear that, that's the sound of the zombies banging on the door, as I was mentioning earlier. See how loud it is? God damn. Where are they? Right here. See how loud that is? It's so fucking annoying. Anyway. Yeah is the other... Like... I guess technically Max is supposed to be... He says he's a good programmer or whatever, but he doesn't strike me as being one who really does a lot of programming. So it's pretty much just Yia and I who really like coding and doing a lot of programming. And, um... So I'm not really sure why Yia chose to go with something like Bejeweled. It kind of seems like an easy game to make, but... He's working from a tutorial, even, which is kind of surprising. I'm doing all mine from scratch, which makes it even harder, because I've always got to be over-ambitious. No way I'll ever get done in time. I'll be lucky if I have any kind of functionality whatsoever. So anyway, this is my subway. Used to be the longest section of subway on our map. But I took a lot of care to make it a nice-looking subway. I got nice, evenly spaced glowstone to light it up. Perfectly spaced out powered track to make it to make the track go as fast as possible. And I took the time, every time I ran into magma, to wall the section in glass so that there'd be something really cool to look at as you went through. Which Tom took my idea, you know, as I mentioned earlier. There was some magma there, and some magma there, and some magma there. Which I thought was pretty sweet. Take the diagonal here. Unfortunately, the power track can't zigzag like this, so that's why there's that weird blip here in the every so often in the track. 
I can promise you though that this track is significantly less long, significantly shorter than Tom's track, so don't worry. And the benefit of going through this is that I can show you all the stuff that people have built at the spawn point. Because that's where most of people's, most of the stuff that people built is at. Like, everyone who built a house in the village, except for me, their main buildings, their main houses and everything are way back here at the spawn point. So, I can show you all their stuff that is their main stuff. But first we're going to arrive at Miles' actual house. eventually. We're almost there, don't worry. It's actually a lot faster to travel if you go by the nether, because the nether, um, one block of distance in the nether is eight blocks of distance in the overworld, so it's just faster to go that way, so I don't actually ever use the subway, but kind of fun anyway to have it. We should be coming up to Miles Station pretty soon. Any second now. Alright, here we are. I, I, I actually made this... Uh, station here. Well, I mean, I didn't dig it out, but I did the track and stuff. Not that that's anything special, but it's not like it's difficult to do. So I guess I'll show you Miles' house first, his underground house. It's rather large and interesting. He told me he actually just built it, built it just so he could uh, find diamonds. Because <laughs> diamonds only appear at... Um, the very bottom of the world, so he cleared out all the space from that level down so that he could find diamonds as much as possible. I'm not really sure why he made this chandelier so incredibly low, though. Oh, he's got a music box. Anyway, let's look around here. He's got his bedroom here. Um, he's got his wardrobe here. Rather interesting. There's a nice fancy bed. I like to jump on beds. You know, ruin the springs. He's <laughs> got a lot of pictures in here. Interesting. Anyway, you'll notice that there's this door here, and you can't right-click to open it, like, because he didn't put a lock on it. And that's because... He's got this secret little thing here. pretty cool. And then he's got his giant library. He said the floor is actually made out of bookcases too, for some reason, even though you can't tell. Got his enchanting table here. That's pretty sweet. It's really hard to get out though. There we go. That's his bedroom. Uh, his workshop is rather large, and he he also I can't get through the door. Put uh, made the floor out of crafting tables, but when you look up at all of his furnaces, yeah, he's got one or two furnaces. <laughs> I can't imagine him ever actually needing all of these. By the time he filled them all, the first ones would have been long done. So I don't know. He's also got lots of storage space. Doesn't look like he's got a whole lot of diamond, though. Um, anyway, so that's that. Come back through here. I think that's the exit there, so let's come over here. We haven't gone yet. We got the dining room and the kitchen. So let's start off with the dining room. We got a nice large table here and a cake. And then we go to the kitchen. And these rather large things with the really super huge doors are supposed to be cupboards. I don't know why he chose to use 
this instead of chests. Chests make a lot more sense. Um, we've got a refrigerator over here, which is really large, because again, I don't know why he chose to use doors for stuff. But, what's really interesting is if you go over here, damn it, inside his cupboards, he's got an automatic sugarcane farm, and again, I already covered why I don't really understand why you need a sugarcane farm. You, know, you never really need sugarcane, much less this much sugarcane. But whatever. It's still kind of a cool idea anyway. And if you go this way, um, he's got his automatic wheat farm. Doesn't look like it's full though. Must have ran out of seed or something. He and I helped him with both of these. So he's having some issues. Redstone's definitely tricky to deal with when you're first starting out, so. Not that he's first starting out, he's been playing for quite a while, it's just, he never really messed with redstone before, so. Just kind of learning. So anyway, that's his underground house. And, oh, uh, I suppose I can take the track back. Rather than popping up and uh, showing you his above ground house, which is just a tiny little dirt shack anyway. But he does have a rather large wheat field and a rather large uh, sugarcane field above ground too. He's pretty much moved down here though, so. Well, long as I'm here, I guess. And he's got these, like, rooms every so often where there's openings into caverns that he was exploring. I don't know why it's raised up like this, but whatever. Up and up and up. Something just closed. Facebook Messenger just closed for some reason. I did not tell it to close, so I don't know why it did. Yay lag. Oh, wow. This used to be all made of dirt. Now he must have changed it to stone because he keeps getting it blown up. Oh, there's Facebook Messenger back again. Not really sure what happened there. Yeah, he likes to build his houses out of dirt for some reason, and then creepers keep blowing it up. Since I have sh view distance on short, you can't really see anything. Just to be a dick to my computer, I'm going to go ahead and set it far real quick. Make it crash, you know? Melt. So yeah, there's... His sugar cane farm, his wheat farm is behind that. can't really see it too well. See, far view distance is so much nicer, you can see so much more, but it just makes my laptop go into meltdown. And it's still loading everything up, so... Yeah, I can already see it starting to lag a little bit more than it was before. I'm gonna drop it back. The short, which sucks. And I'll head back down to take the mine cart to Yia's house. His actual, like, original house. And this time you really don't have to worry because this is the shortest track of them all. Unless they finish the one that goes to his brother's house. Which is probably even shorter. But last time I saw it, they hadn't finished it. Still magma everywhere. I was not anticipating this video, I was not expecting this video to be like four hours long as it has turned out to be, but I mean, I, I knew it was going to end up being long because everything I do is always long, but oh well. I'm not a big fan of the uh, two block wide track. It has to be two, at least two blocks wide because you get injured if you go around turns when it's only one block wide, but my, uh, I don't know, my OCD, I guess, doesn't like the lack of symmetry about two blocks wide. That's why mine's three blocks wide, but, oh well. And we arrive at Yiz Station. Yeah, it's still 
the one to the path leading to his brother's house still under construction. He uses a ton of glowstone, but with the uh, MMO mod, this is actually, he did all this before the MMO mod, but with the MMO mod, uh, leveling up, well, you don't even have to level up, uh, just digging drops tons of glowstone dust, which is what you use to make glowstone bricks, so... You know, I guess glowstone's pretty cheap now, because normally you have to get it from the end, or from the nether, and it's rather dangerous, because it's usually hanging from the ceiling over magma or something, and then gas come along and shoot at you and blow you up and you fall into the magma. Um, let's see, I don't really know what this sign is about, um, but yeah, it's got some interesting signs around, like this one, <laughs> guess he knows me too well, I'm very skilled in the art of depression. Um, let's see if there's anything interesting down here. Probably not. This tunnel is longer than I remember. leave a lot of ore lying around for some reason. A lot of valuable redstone. Looks like they had a magma problem over here. Hmm. There's perfectly good iron right there. More redstone. I don't remember this tunnel being here before. And I'm killing more time that I really shouldn't be. Yeah, I don't feel like trying to fight the current. It's really annoying trying to travel through flowing water. So let's go back. Whenever Yia runs in the, in Minecraft, he always jumps like this while he's running. And it kind of rubbed off on me, so now I do it all the time too. <laughs> kind of weird playing like this. Maybe that leads to his brother's house. This is a very tall tunnel. Whoa. Yeah. It's kind of easy to see why there's not a track going through here yet. Magma problems. I'm going to go up through Yia's house, because... Yia's house is always... Yia's houses are always really interesting, I think, anyway. He always goes for a very uh, realistic approach, trying to make stuff look as much like an actual house as possible. This is rather interesting, I think. Blowing magma behind that. Going up the stairs, we're going up the stairs. This is something I've always wondered. He's got a crafting table in there for some reason. Why is there a crafting table in the wall? Really, really curious. I've asked about it. Asked him about. I've asked him about it. Wow, I can talk, but I don't think he really gave me an answer. <laughs> Yay! It's nighttime again. Perfect. More monster killing. He used to have a golem in here, but seems to have escaped. Anyway, so let's go inside his house here. Got a bedroom. Rather interesting. Brewing stand. This leads up to his backyard, I guess. Interesting. Now his back. Ah, oh, he's always leaving his toilet seat up. And more water usage. Man, this guy must be rich. All that water he's paying for. Um, this switch turns off on and on and on and off his uh, yard lights. Whoa, lag! Something was facing the wall. Whoa, this lag is throwing me off here. Oh, I hear a spider. Where is it? Now I don't hear a spider. Now I do hear a spider. 
see a spider though. Oh, I didn't know he's got a crafting table or a enchanting table up here. Oh, there's the uh, leg of his giant statue he was making, but it's like he hasn't touched it in a really long time because it's unchanged. There's his automatic wheat farm. Got his nether portal here. Let's see what his enchanting table is all about up here. Huh, interesting. And once again, just because I can. Acrobatic skill increased by one. Aw, oh, yeah. Kind of dangerous to be roaming around when it's nighttime, but I got lots of armor and weaponry, so I should be all right. What I'm most worried about is accidentally destroying something by getting too close to a creeper. Oh, I suppose I should go this way first. Check out Yia's brother's house. Yia takes such a long time to respond that I have no idea what he's talking about. Creepers. Such dicks. No one likes you, Creeper. It's rather interesting. All of uh, Yia's siblings make houses in a very similar way. I haven't been in here in quite a while. Doesn't look like he's touched it. Now that I think about it, I guess he hasn't really been on at all either, so that's probably why he hasn't touched it. He's got some very large rooms. Very large rooms. Not just porch doors open. Interesting. More large rooms. Rather empty house. Alright, where's the front door? I think it's here. Damn it. you. Oh fuck, there's just creepers everywhere. Go away. Go away. You too. Alright, no more, are there? Evidently, his brother's name is Ha. A couple of giant spiders here. We'll grab some experience points while I'm here for future enchanting. Ooh, free egg. Probably eat a little bit here. Damn it. No one likes you, spider. Now, I guess I'll go way over here because if I remember correctly, one of Yia's other siblings, I don't know how many siblings he has, but. One of his other siblings has a pretty sweet tree fort or a tree house over here somewhere. But with my short whoa, gotta be careful where I'm walking. With my short view distance it's gonna be kinda hard to spot it. I know it's over here somewhere. Ugh. Monsters everywhere. There's an Enderman. They're the, probably the most one of the most dangerous monsters in the game. So I'll probably try to avoid him. Not that I would die, but... Weird. Looks like someone dug out all the dirt here. I don't like to dig away at all the dirt when it's like within view of my house and stuff. It just kind of ruins the landscape. Well, I guess it looks like I'm going to be fighting an Enderman after all. 
Except it's about daytime, and they run away in the daytime. I didn't know I'd use my serrated strike ability. Ah! What a dumb Enderman. Yeah, Endermen are uh, injured by water, so... I don't know why you would just willingly walk into water. Evidently, they didn't update the AI that well. They did update the AI, they just... I guess they didn't do so for Enderman. Now, getting up here is kind of tricky, because I can never remember where exactly the entrance is. Yeah, those trees are probably not going to grow. Well, there we go. Looks like you made it much more simple to find. It used to just be vines, and then there was, like, no real sign of where the door was. I don't know, I just think this house is cool. Oh, hello there, Mr. Enderman. They teleport around. They try to teleport behind you, and then attack you from behind. But since it's daytime, he probably just ran away. Come on, bring it on. I'll kill you. I'll kill you and your whole family. Um, uh, kind of didn't make a way up. Whatever. Whoa, it's a weird room right here. Wooden tools, really? The weakest tool that you can make in the game? It's even more odd than having a bunch of stone tools. I remember this being a much bigger treehouse. Huh. Weird. Maybe there's another treehouse somewhere that I'm missing. Let's see. Probably would have been better to stay in that treehouse. Get up here somewhere. Oh no. I guess I fell off. Well, I was gonna try and look for... Why is it so dark? Even with short view distance on, I should be able to see the sun. I was in the forest. Uh, well, I was going to use the sun to figure out where I needed to go to get back, but looks like I figured it out just by stumbling upon it. Yay, lag. Sure do love you, lag. Ugh. Now the sound's all messed up. Whoa. Interesting. Back at Ia's house. Next to his giant foot. This leads down to uh, some caverns, as well as probably to dig out some cobblestone to build this out of. And it just leads to the top. Nothing really that interesting. Yeah, he hasn't really been back here. He hasn't really been working on this in quite a while. He's kind of been hanging out at the village, really. I don't know if he's really even been back to this house for that much in quite a while. Looks like someone planted a whole bunch of sugar cane. Well, that hazy fortress there that you can see in the distance, in the very fair short distance, is Max's house his original house before he put a house in the uh, village. Looks like someone blew up some water here. Try and jump across so I don't have to swim as much. There we go. He's trying to build a castle here, I guess. Much smaller one than mine, yet and I guess I didn't even really show you how big my castle was going to be, but you saw the fountain. That fountain is in the center of my castle, so you get a pretty good idea of how big it's going to be. Of course, his door's on the other side. Run! Or walk, that's good too. Alright. I haven't been here in quite a while. So... I don't know why he built this. 
it's a max height tower, and then he was jumping off of it back before he got a bunch of armor and stuff, and trying to, like, land in this magma for some reason. This is his disposal area. And he kept, so he kept dying. I don't know why he was doing that. That's before we even had the leveling up mod that we've got that gives you points for acrobatics. So you don't get points if you die, so. Oh yeah, button. Forgot. He used to have a bunch of magma in here. I guess he must have removed it or something. He kept falling into it. Back when he first started out. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. But, uh, yeah, it's here. He made this cannon. He ca oh, I think he calls it a cannon, but... I'm not sure why. He had it filled with arrows before, but I don't know what he'd be attacking. Got some animals. Yay, leveled up my acrobatics again. Here's his house. And lagging out there a little bit. Creeper blew up his house one day because he had like no light in here. I guess he didn't realize that light keeps monsters away. He blew up his house, so he just put torches everywhere. Way, way overkill. Which I think is hilarious. And this just leads to the very bottom of the world, but nothing really there, so I'm not gonna bother going there. Okay, there's the door. That's all there really is here, so I'm just gonna head out. I thought Tom had a house around here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Never seen it, so I'm not going to be able to show that to you. But I can show you my very first original house when we first started the map that I made just to get started. Before I found, um... Did I just get lost? I don't... wasn't paying attention when I walked out of his house. A lot of creeper holes. Oh, here we go. Oh no, I think this is... Path to Miles' house. Yeah, this is Miles' house. So I did go the wrong way. Um, back when I first started out, you know, I needed a shelter, so... I made a house here. That was back before I found a place to build my castle, so... It sucked running all the way back to my new castle area to bring all my items over because we didn't have the subway system yet obviously or this t the nether portal but uh someone put this here this cool uh lily pad path and seems like free egg this is another of Yia's brother's houses i should probably uh oh it's got a automatic closing door that's cool um not really sure what the point of all of this is. Whoa. I'm gonna read the sound here. Moving while falling isn't the smartest thing to do. Um This leads to a cavern. I've been down there. Not particularly interesting so I won't bother going through it. Yeah, this is, uh, his brother's house. Kind of cool. I guess I'm going to have to open the door manually. It opens automatically. Come over here. And as you can already begin to see through the haze, there's my old original wheat farm, automatic wheat farm. I took out all the redstone that was powering it and the pistons because it can be a waste to leave it. Couldn't take the glass because there's no way to get glass once you place it. It just breaks and then you just don't have it. Which is kind of annoying. I don't know why that is. So I just kind of left this here. Looks like some bunch of creepers blew up. I left my pumpkin patch here because pumpkins are practically useless. My sugarcane field that, like I've already said a thousand times, is rather pointless. Here's my tiny little original hut that I used to live in. Looks like it had some creeper problems here too. I used to have a really tall spire up there. Uh, I removed it because 
kind of a waste of wood to not remove it. Had a bunch of furnaces down here for cooking. So another portal there, and then this leads down to a big underground cavern that I won't bother going to. I left this here for people, for like new years, users to have a place to stay, but I don't think anyone's used it. Um, that's pretty much everything that's back here, but there is w one other interesting thing we can take a look at. And I remembered something interesting back at my current house, back by the castle, that I feel like showing you, so I'll run through the nether just to show that off, I guess, and show you what I missed back at the castle. So we got this here. Yeo was making this. Um, this is actually supposed to be a recreation of the floor plan of our school, ITT Tech. Uh, Yeo wanted to make the full school and everything, but I guess we just kind of forgot about it or something. Because obviously we only have the outline. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what all the rooms are because you don't care what my school is like. But, uh, as far as, we, we did this all from memory, though, so it's kind of hard to get everything uh, exactly lined up and everything, especially since we don't know what even, we don't, only, we don't even know what all the rooms are for. So, uh, but yeah, I thought this was kind of cool. Now you have a rough idea of how big my school is, though. It's rather small. Oh shit, because I'm starving here. You can't run when you have three, like, food meter unit things or less, so... Gotta keep that up. And now, because it's so hazy, I can't really tell exactly where I need to go to get back. But I think it's this way. Yep. And since I'm lagging this bad in the overworld not even looking forward to how badly it's going to lag once I get to the nether. I'm trying to avoid swimming since swimming is slow. He had all these uh, rainbow colored sheep that were all in his pen, but animals escape for some reason. They don't stay in the pens that you make for them, so now there's just multicolored sheep everywhere. Not to mention all the pigs and cows. Oh, shit. I guess I killed a pig. Damn it. Why am I such a bad shot? Oh, well, it's far enough. Oh, I guess, uh... No, I didn't kill it. That's still the, something else. Oh, damn it. Another creeper. Whoa, that was way off. That was way off, too. Such a terrible shot. All right. On up to the nether portal. I believe it's around the corner right here. Yep. And away we go. On through the nether. Uh, some metallic for you. Uh... This portal leads to Max's house. It's actually really dangerous. You don't, you can't see it from here, but um, if you were to break through one of these blocks, you would find that you are, we are actually like way above the ground. And if this was to like explode, uh, you would fall to your death, most likely. So Alan's actually probably not that high. I think Yia fell through it when we were building it because a gas was firing at him. And he survived, so can't be too high. Oh crap, forgot about the whole um, view distance thing. It's rather dangerous to be running around with a short view distance. So I'm going to do the stupid and up my view distance to far. Just so I can be watchful of any gas that might be floating around. And there you can see a chandelier of glowstone that's naturally occurring and you can see now why they are so dangerous to get because they're way up in the sky 
and it's really easy for ghasts to see you and then fire at you while you're way up there trying to get it. Not to mention, the nether is full of magma seas that you can fall into. And there you can see that it's kind of a drop if you were to fall through that portal room. And yeah, so this is what the nether is like, isn't it fancy? You can see zombie pigmen running around. Zombie pigmen don't attack you unless you attack them. And if you attack a zombie pigman, all the pigmen in the area will come running after you and try to kill you. So, better to not attack them unless you're trying to get the items that they drop. So, let's head on over. And I suppose I'll show you the nether, the path to the nether fortress, because it's. I put up lots of interesting signs along the way. This portal goes to a treetop somewhere south of Yu's house. I was trying to get a portal to connect to where my old house was. And the only way you can really do that is by making portals in the nether. And I just got went in the wrong direction and ended up in a tree somewhere. So here's the start of the path to the nether fortress. This is going to be another really long run that I'm going to waste a lot of video time with. I don't know if you can hear all those sounds, but those are the sounds of gas. That means that a gas is somewhere nearby. Let's see if I can find one. They're just giant white floating squid things with crying faces. Oh, there's one. And if they're close enough, they shoot exploding fireballs at you. Which is why they are dangerous. As long as you don't hit a zombie pig man, they won't attack you. But you can push them off of ledges, which is kind of fun. If you can get behind it. What are you doing, zombie pig man? Yeah, there we go. Fall to your death. Hey, <laughs> hey, Anyway. Oh! Yep, now we're gonna have a fight on our hands. And, of course I got a lag now. I'd really like to catch one in an egg, but... How did that not hit it? That's cheap. But, it's really hard to catch... It'd be, it would be really hard to catch a ghast. Especially since you have to pick up the egg, and chances are the egg would fall into magma. But, uh, save that for another time. There we go. 20 coins for killing that ghast. Awesome. Oh, it blew open my... Damn it. Blew up the, uh... Oh, crap. There's another one. Where is it? See, this is why the nether is dangerous, and this is why you don't want to have a short di view distance when you're in the nether. Because that's how you get killed. Yeah, you're dead, bitch. But it blew up my path. And I don't have any nether brick left. Or nether rack, I mean. Nether rack breaks really fast though, so it won't take me much time to get it. Get some to fix the path here again. Damn lag. There we go. All better. Okay, back onto the path to the nether fortress. And lag. Now, one thing that um, is a problem is that if you are in a tunnel that is only two blocks high, the space is you know, only two blocks high, and you disconnect and reconnect, um, like if you're in a cavern underground somewhere, what will happen is it will spawn you ab above ground wherever you were for some reason. And the thing about the nether is that, like in the overworld, the, there is no top to the world, it's just the sky. But the nether has a top to the world that is lined with bedrock, and you cannot dig through bedrock. It's not possible to dig out bedrock unless you're cheating. And a few times, I was in a tunnel at the top of the world, in fact, it was this tunnel, um, I think. And the tunnel back then was only two blocks high, and I had to disconnect because I was having issues. And when I reconnected, I spawned above the nether. And since you can't dig through bedrock, I was just trapped up there, which sucks. Um, so just keep that in mind if you play. Like, don't find yourself in a, in a two-block-high tunnel 
at the top of the nether because you can't get back. The only way the only way I managed to get back without dying, and it would have been hard to die too, since there's nothing up there to kill you. I would have had to wait till I starved and then died that way, and I would have lost about, I would have lost all my items. Um, so the only way to get back was um, Yia, being the server owner, was able to teleport me back. Otherwise, I would have been that would have been fucked. That would have sucked. Um, this is actually another place I was. This used to um, the path to get further used to go this way, up. In fact, here's the start of the stairs. You went up here and then around and up to this path. And I reworked it and put these stairs in here. And I got up here and the tunnel was only two blocks high. And I went to set my view distance to short because I was lagging. And I accidentally hit disconnect instead. And when I reconnected, I was on top of the nether. And it sucked. Wait, did I put a sign there? I know I put interesting signs up in a few spots. I don't think this one was an interesting one, though. And lag to another. Yeah, it's not interesting. So on we go. And like I said earlier, the we could not find a closer Nether fortress anywhere. So, which sucks because Nether fortresses are the only place you can find blazes or Nether brick stuff. So, it sucks to have to go this far to get it. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say that's an interesting, so I guess this will be kind of a silent part of the trip. Got to keep your food up, because if uh, if you have if you have um, any less, if you see my hunger meter at the bottom there, if you have any less than this for your meter, if your meter is any further empty than this, you won't regenerate health when you lose it, and then you die because you're not paying attention, which happens to me all the time. Here's some interesting signs. Are you almost there? I have no idea. LOL. No, but seriously, keep going. I just figured, you know, the path is so long, and if you don't have some humor, it just kind of sucks to, you know, go this far. Another fortress straight ahead. LOL. No, it's still a ways. Just trying to, you know, make people laugh when they go through. Don't know if anyone did find it funny. It's not really that funny, I guess, but... I guess I'm not a very funny guy. But I tried. And uh, if you didn't really get the joke there, um, the Nether Fortress is clearly not straight ahead. Nor is it really that nearby. Nether Fortress is that way, down there. And now we actually are close. And here we are. Check it out, you made it. Did you enjoy the trip? I hope you did. You still have to go all the way back. And you know, I didn't even realize it until right now that I have to force you guys to watch me run all the way back. These stairs here will lead into the fortress, but let's just go out on top of the fortress here and hope that we don't get hit by a ghast. I'm not really sure why there's experience orbs here. I think these are here from when I killed a ghast like a thousand years ago. They must not have despawned since I no one has been here since then. I'm going to bring the uh, view distance back up so you can see a little bit. Oh, Miles is on. I haven't really seen Miles in a long time. I'm wondering what's been up to that, what that guy's been up to. View distance far. Did I already have the view distance on far? No, I don't think I did. Ooh, there's a ghast over there. Rip and load. Whoa. <coughs> Where are you, you dick? I don't like how hazy it is in the nether. It's hard to see stuff. Whoa, no! Damn it. They die instantly if you hit them with their own blast, so... That's why I keep trying to knock them back. Of course he's gonna hide behind that ledge. Whoa, crap. Screw you. I will kill you and your whole family. Whoa, 40 coins, holy hell. There's a lot of coins for killing a ghast. So yeah, that's the uh, another fortress. Oh damn it. Whoa, you are really close. I wish I had some redstone on me, I would have caught it. I don't 
don't have any redstone on me. I'm not going to bother venturing through the nether fortress because it's not really that interesting. They all pretty much look the same. They just have layouts that are different. And now we get to run all the freaking way back. Aren't you glad I took you all the way out here? If you're even still watching this, then you're probably crazy or something, because this is probably the most boring video that's ever been made ever in the history of ever. And I really doubt anyone cared enough to venture this far through the video. But I made it anyway, because what better thing do I have to do except, you know, valuable homework that I should be doing so as not to fail. But oh well. Passing is so overrated. <laughs> Why do I keep walking? Just keep on running, dude. So yeah, this is what I've been doing for the last, like, three weeks that no one has seen me, seen or heard from me, you know, like, I just appeared off the face of the earth and everyone thought I was dead or something. Not dead, just horribly addicted, like the cliche gamer nerd that I guess I kind of am. So much so, I didn't even shower or anything, like, you think of, a, like, so, like, a complete gaming addict and, you know, like, like, that was me for, like, three weeks straight. <laughs> filthy and not really eating very much and playing for like 20 hours straight non-stop yeah that's that's what I was that's what I've been doing and I'm lagging quite a bit on and on we go much lag. Damn it. Should have used should have eaten bread. Well. Should really put stairs in there so it's not so annoying going up. I hope you can't hear my grandparents upstairs right now. I know this microphone's pretty good. So I don't know if that will uh pick up sounds that are really far away because it's so good or if it'll ignore them because it's so good. Not really sure what qualities make a good microphone. Sounds like he has been watching some chocolate factory. Now we're back on the path between Yeah's house and my house. Got some nether wart uh, areas here and there so we can make potions when we want to. Nothing really interesting out there. You're going to find a rather amusing uh, thing when we get to my portals because you'll see two portals extremely close together and that's because of that whole thing earlier that I mentioned where uh, one block of distance in the nether is eight blocks of distance in the overworld and I wanted two portals I wanted I have a portal in my basement that I sh that you saw when I was showing you my uh, so anyway what was I saying I was saying that I had that portal that you saw in my basement of my old house and then I wanted that portal that you saw in the village and in order to get that to happen I had to put the two portals very close together so it's kind of amusing when you see them so close together um, here in the nether, but they're not nearly as close together in the overworld, so I felt like it was worth it. If I can get 40 coins again, I'm going to kill this gas. Fine, fly away and don't let me collect 40 coins. Yeah, get over here. Yeah! Oh, 20 coins. It's not nearly as cool as 40 coins. You get double coins if you kill monsters in the daytime, so that's why. I've got this pathway that leads down to the Sea of Magma, because, like I said earlier, I needed a lot of obsidian to build my castle. 
and originally I was going to just collect tons and tons of buckets of it and then pour water on the magma to get my obsidian but it just sucks as a process so I just kind of stopped doing that but yeah that's why this is here um, this doesn't really lead anywhere interesting damn it the lag throws me off when I'm turning around Anyway, so here's the two super close together portals. Rather amusing. My nether warts farm there. And I don't want to go to that one, I want to go to this one. Do I still have the view distance on far? I don't want to lag any more than I already am. But it doesn't look like I'm lagging as much, so... Let's leave it on normal for now instead of short. Normal is how I normally play because... I don't lag as much. Aw, oh, damn it. Why is it always... It's always night right when I... It's always just turning night when I come back from someplace. Yeah, so that's Miles. I don't know why he's got diamond armor on. It's rather expensive. But the thing I wanted to show you but quickly... Oh, it probably will turn out to not be quickly since it's nighttime. It'd be really nice to show you this in the daytime so you can actually see it, but... Oh well, I guess. Just keep running through the woods. And no, I'm not on my way to Grandmother's house. Damn trees. And I think I just froze or something. There we go. I'm not really sure what happened there. Why am I lagging so bad all of a sudden? I was doing fine even in the nether with far view distance on, so I should not be lagging right now. And it looks like I off shot her. I was off here. Oh, ocelot. I think it's a baby ocelot. Why don't I have a redstone? I could have caught it. Hello, little kitty. Oh, I see another one. Ocelots run away from you if they see you move, which is why they're so hard to tame. To tame them, you have to feed them uh, raw fish. If they see you with raw fish and you're not moving, they will walk up to you. And then you can click on them. There's two little baby ocelots. They're adorable. I try and get a better view of them, but they'll just run away. So you won't, still won't be able to see them anyway. Little, little kitties. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Aw, oh, it's a cute little ocelot. That's where I'm headed. to my max height diving board. Uh, the, the worlds used to only be 128 blocks high, where sea level was roughly at 64 blocks, and then zero was at the bottom of the world. But uh, a little while ago, they doubled the height. Sea level is still at 64 blocks above the bottom of the world, but the world is now 256 blocks high. So the sky is much higher, and now I'm lagging again. And people like the higher world, obviously, because you can build taller structures. Though I wish they would have um, kept the, um, I wish they would have kept sea level 
at the same, like right in the middle, like at 128, so that there'd be deeper, cooler stuff underground, but oh well. And since the sky is so high, this is going to probably take some time to climb. This is my maximum height diving board, which is obligatory if you ask me. There's a funny thing in the Minecraft world where um, no matter how high you jump, if you land in water that is three blocks deep, you will never take damage. So I had to do this. <laughs> And by max height, I mean, I didn't just build a, a pillar to the top of the world, I also dug down to the bottom of the world, because it would not be a maximum height diving board if I didn't dig all the way to the bottom of the world as well. It's just fun jumping off, because, I don't know, I just fall forever. Oh hey, it's the moon. I wonder what kind of moon it is tonight. Looks like a crescent. Yeah. Alright. And now, since we have short distance, we can't even see the ground. Or normal viewing distance, can't see the ground. There's nothing but blackness. So let's, uh... Try far and see if we can see the ground. Should be able to. start to see the ground loading. Loading, loading, loading. See some treetops. Some light down there. I wonder what that light's for. I don't remember leaving any lights down there. And the world is loading. Is that snow? Okay, the trees right here are a jungle. The trees right there are covered in snow. Feel free to explain to me how there is snow right next to a jungle. Oh, I know what those lights are. That's Tom's um, railroad track that he's making for some weird reason. Anyway, like I said, I was really hoping for daylight to do this, but... Um, oh well, I guess. I hope it's still there. I don't even... It's hard to even see it. I hope this is the right side. It would really suck if I died. Alright, time to jump off the top of the world. Whoosh! Crisploosh. See, that's just fun. Making a maximum height diving board was just obligatory, if you ask me. So anyway, I think that's the last thing I was going to show you. Uh, this is where I've been for the last three weeks, as I've said like 30 times in this video. This is why I disappeared. I got all addicted to this game. Oh, I should show you how fast I can dig. Thanks to my efficiency shovel. And... Um... Yeah, just my efficiency sh efficiency shovel, really. So I don't want to dig anywhere that's going to be visible. Because I, I dig really, really fast with my shovel. I should really dig out some obsidian somewhere just to give you some contrast to the speed. Hmm. I don't really know where I should go to dig. Oh, I should turn off my far view distance here. It's making me lag. Ugh. I'll just kind of go off somewhere to the side of the village. Oh, another skeleton. Did you just shoot that out of his armpit? Pretty sure you can't fire arrows out of your armpit. Some cool mountain scenery. This looks like a good place to dig. All right, check out fast. Check out how fast. Yeah. Did I just drop an egg? Since when do you get eggs from digging? Oh, lag. 
this is a this is this is this is some fast digging. It's dropped an apple. Why is it dropping an apple? I'm confused. This would be way more interesting if I wasn't lagging so bad. Ugh. The creeper's getting closer. I don't like it. Screw off. I'm not seeing any diamonds though. I wonder if he had changed it. I'm supposed to be getting a lot of diamonds. Wow, it lags every time I start digging. Doodly doodly doodly. Diggy diggy diggy. Wow, the lag. Maybe if I drop the view distance again. Oh, I'm just lagging even worse. Explain that one. Cocoa beans. I'm not seeing diamonds though. Ah. There really should be a lot of diamonds falling out right now. Maybe he had changed it. <laughs> oh god, why? It's kind of amusing. Oh. What the hell is this? Even my pick is rather slow. This is as fast as you can dig with a pick, though. You should see how slow all this digging and stuff is when you're not using enchanted diamond tools. Anyway, I don't think I have anything else to uh, show off, so... I should probably end this now that it's like an eight hour long video. Uh, hello, spider. Um, I feel like there's some kind of like interesting thing I should say to end off with, but uh, don't have anything interesting to say. Hope you uh, didn't hate the video, and um, I doubt you watched any of it, much less all of it. Um. Everyone needs to get Minecraft and play with me because Minecraft is fun. We could build stuff together. Look at this awesome village we built. You could build your own house here and it would be sweet. And you could build your own giant castle and then we could have like a war or something. We could battle each other. Though you wouldn't be able to destroy my castle because it's made of obsidian. Oh yeah, I was going to show you how long it takes to dig through obsidian, wasn't I? Doody doody doody. A ba doo 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 doo. Let's see. I guess I'll just take it out of the corner of my house. This is how long it takes to dig out obsidian normally. It's actually pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's because of the efficiency enchantment. Put this back though. It used to take like 30 seconds or something like that to mine one block. I'm not going to show you how fast it goes with the uh, mod that we have because that would like destroy my house, but yeah. Just trust me, it goes a lot faster for like 20 seconds. Is the shop sign going? No, it's going the right way still. So. Sweet. Anyway, yeah. Get Minecraft and like join me and stuff. Because it's fun. And I leave now. Woo! Hope I didn't waste your time. But I probably did. There's no friendly fire, so I can't get hurt from this. Anyway, bye-bye. Now you know where I've been.
wait, no, I don't need to. Yeah, I need to.